Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. And today we're gonna to be looking at the ARC 6256 billet rod plus 0 0.020 for the Predator 212 Hemi and non-Hemi. Let's go ahead and take a look at this bad boy real quick before we get into some specs on it. We got the instructions. You even got a phone number for you to call if you have any questions, which is really cool. Let's go ahead and take a look at this rod. Very beautiful. I mean, I love it gonna go great with all the other arc billet parts that you um, end up putting in your motor. I'm definitely doing everything. I'm I'm getting a uh, billet piston head as well. It's coming in and we got a 0.308 cam coming in. So that should be really nice. The finish on this is really nice. It looks really durable. Let me, let me go ahead and put it down. And uh, basically this is the arc rod plus 0 0.020 long billet rod with the bearing insert for the Predator 212. We mentioned that it fits both Hemi and non-Hemi as well. It fits on uh, the stock crank shaft and a stock flat piston. So if you wanna go end up using stock, you can still go ahead and mount the stock one. I'm just gonna get the extra billet one for a little extra bang for my buck. I think they're like $25 on, uh, $25, $30 on, uh, Go Power Sports or OMB Warehouse. <clears throat> Excuse me, but uh, you you are able to mount the flat piston on there that comes with the Predator Hemi or the round one that comes with the non-Hemi. So they're both compatible with this unit. I mean, it's, it's beautiful, really nice. And the instructions are pretty basic. They're included, which is really nice. Connecting rods have been pleated pre-clearance for large cams. So uh, all the large cams, which we'll be doing as well on this build, they're already pre-clearance, so which is really nice. You won't have to mess with that. Additional grinding of rod will reduce destructional integrity. We all know that. So if you start, ham uh, start chipping away and eating away at the rod, it makes it a lot weaker. But we'll definitely go more in depth once it's installed and give you more details on everything. I assume that that is the manufacturing number, so it's 11022, which is pretty cool. January 10th, 2022. All right, well, thank you for tuning in. That's, that's it for today. Thank you, have a good one, bye-bye.